Hello everybody, um, today I am going to be showing you how to bridge a real crappy audio 1000 watt home amplifier, theater, whatever you want to call it, surround sound. So yes, this is the one that I've been zapped by a million different times. This is the one that has a lot of heating issues. This is the one that barely push, pushes out any watts except out of the sub-channel. And uh, the sub-channel gives you vocals, of course. Why not? It's a, it's a real crappy audio. Uh, 150 watts. You know. October of 2017th. Uh, I'm sure it is, um, certified to, uh, you know, Canada or the U.S. at all. I am sure that this device complies with Part 15 of the FCC rules. I'm very sure. <clears throat> so, if I could find the two wires that I had for the video, uh, before this. So, to bridge these stupid amplifiers... I would have showed you with the sub, but I'm not going to do that, because that is stupid. Hold on. That's how you can bridge uh, your surrounds. Same goes for your front. Uh, I would say same goes for your subs, but uh, usually it only has one sub. And for your center, well, don't bridge that, because it's just a center. Who needs center? <coughs> so you take your surround rights negative. And your surround off is positive. Yes, you only get, I believe, one of these uh, for listening. But y you get more power out of these. Uh, for this, you probably only get like one watt out of these. So maybe you'd get two <clears throat> or a couple. For your sub, that's where you get most of your uh, wattage. That, I believe, actually pushes quite a bit because it makes my uh, 15, which is 250 RMS, it makes it a little warm uh, after extended period of time. <clears throat> um, your front barely pushes anything. Cheap. Yeah, don't, don't get these. Just, just don't. Unless if you're going to murder it. Which, and then, in that case, go ahead and get one of these. But, I guess I'm showing you the internals, uh, just really quickly. That's the heat sink, duh! And we got your transformer, so don't plug that in. Um, I touched the heat sink and I got zapped. Because <clears throat> these are heat sinks right here, too. Oh yeah, I touched that one before. I touched one of these capacitors, got zapped. I, I touched over here, got zapped. Touched, you know, right here, got zapped. Oh, yeah, this thing's just a death trap waiting. It's got, like, supposedly, uh, how many grounds? I thought I saw three or four. Could be wrong, though. <coughs> G stands for ground. Two, three... I think there's a fourth one over in that corner somewhere. So yeah, should be like four grounds. Um, this one still works, of course, but I'm not plugging it in because it's a death trap. That's how you properly uh, ground or not ground. Uh, how you properly bridge a home amplifier. And if you want to see me bridge uh, anything else that I could possibly have, let me know. I can't really bridge a PA amplifier. Th that's a uh, that's not really a thing. So, uh, yeah. Bye, guys.